Hey, do you have a sec? Hey, it's Christian. Welcome to day two of the Christmas Fitness Advent Calendar, counting down December 23rd. This is the second to last day of this challenge. And whew, I'm out of breath, just finished. And again, recording just before the light gets dim. So I'm overexposing a little bit now and it should compensate over the next 20 minutes. So sorry if that uh, adjusts, but hey, I'm getting her done. Just like you should be getting this workout done because it's a bear. We're two days from being done. Once you finish this one, it is an all out free for all tomorrow. And then, hey, it's Christmas. So uh, let's get started. Today we're adding in Ooh, another, another lovely leg move. This one is the ISO leg squat with leg hold. So you've seen this in a skater move that I've done before, and I'll link a card up over here uh, that you can go and click on to check out more, but effectively you're on one leg, squatting down, reaching the opposite hand across the foot, but the one leg that is up stays out the entire time. So you're balancing on one leg, maintaining the isometric hold with the leg that's up, and then after 15 seconds you swap and we go to the other side. So not terrible, but definitely works the hip flexors. So get your mat, get your water, get whatever you need, and hit play when we're ready to go. We're leaving in three, two, oh wait, <laughs> we're starting our timer. We're going in three, two, one, and go. So this is squat on one leg, reach down with the opposite leg, keeping your eyes and chest up. You don't want to bend forward. You're not looking at your shoes. You want to keep your eyes and chest up as much as you can, reaching across and then standing up straight, but maintaining that leg out to the side the whole time. If you need to modify by going shallower, switch up the legs, 15 seconds there, and keep going, keep going. If you hear me breathing hard, it's because I am still gassed from this workout. We're done here in five seconds, so keep pushing hard, keep squatting down, two, one, and done. Now, get on the ground, or we're gonna go onto the mountain climber next. This is, again, straight up the middle, going to four, three, two, one, and go. So, from a high plank position, you're just bringing your knees up towards your chest, and you're just climbing it out. Knee to chest alternating as fast as you can go. If you need to do this at a walking pace, that's fine. Do it at a run if you can. This is a cardio move as well as a core move. Ooh, and it works the shoulders a little bit as well, but that's okay, you've got 10 seconds left, so keep pushing through. Uh, keep climbing, keep climbing. I know it's tough, you can feel hard, but this isn't as hard as an oblique, a twisted mountain climber. You got two seconds, one, and done. Now stand on up. We're gonna finish this block with the Heisman high knee punch. So we're going in four, three, two, one, and go. So this is you're driving your, your fist forward in a punch as you bring the opposite knee up and hold it there for a beat. So it's knee up and punch, knee up and punch. And whether you dub, double bounce, a lot of people love this double bounce to keep the rhythm like one, two, one, two, one, two. You can do that or you can just step across. So you can see I've got a little, a little bit of a bounce but not really a, a full bounce on that foot. I'm not getting off the ground. So whatever suits your, your rhythm, you're done here in three seconds, two, one, and take that, that break. You have 30 seconds here. I definitely needed this today. Um, it, is, it is quite amazing how just 11 and a half minutes worth of work can really, really work you to the core uh, from head to toe as well. And so it's really fun to be doing this and sharing it with you guys. Uh, we're going to that Skyfer in uh, five seconds. So get down on the ground and get ready to go. We're working those triceps and go. So this is about keeping that table position and then dropping your elbows bent behind you and you want to dip your butt down and then bring it back up. So this one works your triceps and your core and your back as well. So definitely work hard on this one. Again, I forgot to bring my push-up stands out. Definitely gonna do that tomorrow for the finale and uh, work hard here. This is, it's a tough, tough move. Um, Really, in hindsight, I would exclude this one from another one, but you're done here in one second, so that's it. Uh, next, we're going into the isometric chair leg lift. So, a couple of isometric hold moves towards the end of this workout. You're going in two, one, and done. Oh, sorry, done with that transition. Get into that chair and get one leg up, hands, biceps beside your ears, hands over your head. So you've got a deep squat with your weight into your heel of the supporting leg, and the other leg should be up with your knee above the other knee. You want to be uh, keeping that up, and you've switched legs here at the halfway mark. 
if you're paying attention to the screen and not to my voice <laughs> and you want to have the other leg and keep that balance and if you need to get less of a squat that's okay two one and done next we're going to the bicycle so grab your mat and get down on the ground take this lay down and and rest here for the few seconds you have left two one and begin the bicycle twist it's elbow to cross knee as you bring them in don't hold your head up don't pull on your neck you want your your knuckles by your temples and you're twisting your core to get that lovely crunch that you've maintained the entire time. Your shoulder blades are off the ground and you're twisting and bringing that knee up. So you're working your core and your hip flexor and your legs a little bit too. Keep your foot pointed if you can. If you want more challenge, go up to it at a 45 degree angle with that leg, but you're done here in five seconds. So keep pushing and twisting and you're gonna finish off with the burpee. You got 10 seconds to transition into that. So get the mat out of the way and we're gonna do that burpee in five seconds. Deep breaths here before we really work out this cardio. And go. So my move is to hop back into high plank, stand up and then jump. Some people want to step back. Some people just want to step up. Some people will do a uh, step up and then up onto the tiptoes. Other people will do more extreme and do a push up at the bottom. I might do that tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, Henry's challenged me to do that. So we'll see if I can get that far. Uh, knowing how burnt out it was the last round of push ups, uh, well, maybe we'll give it a go. Anyway, you're done here in five seconds for that break. So work through the bell. Three, two, one, and you're done. Take your deep breath here. Slow the heart rate down, get that vital oxygen into your muscles because that is gonna help you out. We're going into the uh, single leg bridge next. God, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. There's so many moves now. Single leg, uh, single leg bridge was the bridge with the leg lift. We're going in three, two, one, and get those hips up and march the knee up towards your nose. Onto your heels only if you can, don't get a flat foot. Using your arms to push down on the ground and lift your hips up higher. Maintain that nice height and don't hold any tension in your neck if you can here. Relax your neck as you bring your knees up, keeping your core engaged and marching it out. Uh, important to maintain a flex foot. It helps you keep your knee at a right angle as well. So keep pushing here. You got four more seconds. Three, two, one, and you're done. Get that mat out of the way. We're going into the angry bear next. My knees did not want to play with this one today. And the ground is still just a little bit slippery. Two, one, and go. You're in that hands and knees position. Knees are just two inches off the ground and you're hopping your feet left center, right center. And this is not about going distance. You don't have to hop far on either side. It's just a little bit of a twist and hopping your feet, but keeping those knees two inches off the ground. Keep your back as flat as you can. You don't need to look at your feet. Don't need to look at your knees. You know where they are. Just try and maintain that nice right angle with your, your hips and your knees are right under your hips and just hop it out three, two, one, and you're done here. So get that mat again. We're going into the CY reach next. We're gonna work that core. So lay back into a low, put low crunch position with a C in your arms and we are going. Now sit up and twist to one side, reach up with the Y. You're looking back as far as you can when you do this and then back down to the C position and then twist up to the other side. So this is 30 seconds of straight sit up to twist and then back down low, sit up and twist and then back down low on the other side. So it's, it's just a repeated move that you are working a nice maintained crunch the whole time. And we're done here in six seconds. So keep pushing, keep pushing, keep twisting, keep crunching, two, one, and done. We finish off this blick, blick, blick with the cardio <laughs> diamond drill. So if you have markers, you should have those out and get ready to go in two, one, and go. This is about fast feet and agility, so move fast. I had a great rhythm today. Felt really good working with three markers, so I think this is my, my magic number. I could probably go to four or more, but three is a good one to, uh, to keep the space on the camera here. But uh, just out and in, out and in, move your hips, keep your arms moving as well. They help with the momentum. And you got 10 seconds left here before our next break and that's the halfway mark. So keep working hard for the last five. In and out, in and out, three, two, one, and you are done. Take this break, clean up the markers, get them out of the way. We're going into the tricep push up to lead off the next block of work, but you're halfway through today and we have one more day after this. So you've been doing fantastic if you've been with us the entire time, thank you. And 
congratulations on working so hard through this. It is tough. It keeps getting harder every single day. Uh, and that's why I lost the hat for most of the workouts. We're going into that tricep push up in three, two, one, and go. So keep your elbows close to your core as you drop into the push up. You want to maintain that nice tension in the uh, triceps. That is by keeping your elbows close, you are moving the tension into your upper arms. And of course your chest is still working hard here too. So keep that in mind as you push. So just keep, keep driving it and engage your core, straight line from head to toe, heels driven back. You're done in three, two, one, and done. Stand up, we're gonna to go to the plyo knee pop next. This is 15 seconds on each side. Don't get too low into this, this one. I know today I wasn't. Two, one, and go. I noticed today I was really shallow in these and it could be because I'm getting tired. Uh, I've had no days off for the last 23. Uh, but <laughs> hey, this is this is what we do to, uh, to work out and to work hard. So uh, switch it up here in one second and go. Change legs and it's into a shallow kind of lunge and then pop your knee up forward. Whether you get your front foot off the ground or not, entirely up to you, you are here working hard and that's what counts. You're done in two, one, and grab that mat. We're going into the reaching setup in just a second. So get ready, get on the ground, and we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and go. Now this one is about keeping those hands overhead to take the momentum out of your, your setup the entire time. So it's hands above head, sit up, reach, arch your back, and then lay back down. You don't have to hold this one, but as long as you can keep things engaged the entire way up, that's what we're looking for. So crunch it up, sit up, and then lay back down with your arms overhead. You're done in 10 seconds here, and then we're going to finish off this block with some cardio. So five seconds, keep moving, hands over your head the entire time. Two, one, and done. Get that mat out of the way. Next up, jumping jacks. Take a deep breath here as you finish the last three seconds. Two, one, and jumping jack. So let's go. Move those arms like you're waving, waving down the saviors on the desert island. You want them to get your attention. So frantically move your arms and legs to get their attention. So jumping jacks out and in, up and down. Get that heart rate spiked again. You want to move fast here. This is all about getting the burnout into your next break. So seven seconds. Oh, it's so hard to keep going, but move faster if you can. Three, two, one, and done. We have 30 seconds here before we go into two shoulder moves. So take a break, take a breather, stretch out your shoulders if you can, give a nice hug across, pull your arm across your chest and just hold it. Up above your head if you need to do a tricep stretch, but it's all about getting your, your shoulders ready. Uh, in 10 seconds, we'll be doing the YTWL. So uh, keep working hard here. Uh, arms are going to love you when we're done. And we're going in three, two, one, and go. Feet, shoulder, hips width apart, and you want to bend forward at the hips, and you're going to put your arms overhead for the Y, out to the side for T, elbows back for W, and then palms up for L. And you're going to repeat this one. This is about the shoulder mobility. Keep working, you know, hold each one for a fraction of a second, and then move to the next, and then just repeat it. So definitely want to increase your, your shoulder mobility for everything you do, and this is a great way to do it. Done here in three seconds. Two, one, done. In 10 seconds, we're going into the tiptoe squat. So get your feet just slightly wider. Your arms are gonna go up by your biceps, uh, by your ears. Two, one, and get up on those tiptoes and drop into that squat with your arms overhead. So this one is about working the squat, working your balance, but your arms help you with that. So keep them up there and keep dipping the low. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Your balance should be up on your toes. That is helped by the fact your arms are way out over your toes. So squat down low and then back up and keep your, your toes as high as you, you can, get those heels up, 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 and you're done here in five seconds. So continue to squat right through the end. Two, one, and done. Grab that mat, get on your elbows in a low plank. Next up is the Sphinx with a single leg lift. So we're going here in three, two, one, and go. This one is about core engagement and glutes. We're working the butt, so get that foot up about 
yeah, one foot, two feet off the ground behind you. It's a leg lift and you're working through with your core, engage everything, keep it straight as a board and lift up that foot, alternating one then the other and keeping your core engaged. Try to keep from twisting. I know it's a little bit tricky because you are changing your balance position, but that's about the engagement. That's how you're working your core even more here. And you're done here in one second. So hop on up, get the mat out of the way. Speed Skater finishes us off today in this block, second to last block of work. So get ready in two, one, and go. Get low and throw those arms from side to side as you skate hard. This is about getting your hip flexors and your legs working hard and it's done by leaping from side to side. Throw that leg across behind the other knee and your arms are maintaining your momentum and your balance as well. So get those throwing from side to side. Move as fast as you can here. If you do not have the space, do short distances and move faster. So keep working hard. You have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and done. Last break before we get into that final push. We've been seeing these since day four, three, two, and one, of course, and this is about working hard. We are got the, the push-ups, the box squats, the uh, plank, and finally the soccer sprint, soccer run. So we're going to work you through the last two minutes here. And you've got 10 seconds left to rest, so let's get ready for those push-ups. Ooh, and my motion sensor light came on. <laughs> we're going in three, two, one, and go. So get in those push-ups with your arms at 45 degrees, your elbows are flaring out, your hands should be in front of your shoulders, just maybe slightly south of that, and you're dropping into your push-up, push back up, you're engaged from your head all the way to your heels, driving those heels back. Go at your own pace, go as deep as you can. If you can get your nose all the way to the ground, that is the best push-up. If your chest can touch the ground, that's the best push-up there. But if you can't, that's quite all right. I want you to still work, and you're done in three, two, one and done hop on up we're going to go into the box squats next this is about speed not necessarily about depth not about the jump two one and squat into the heels jump up turn to your left squat down and then jump center again squat and then turn to your right and then repeat back to the center this is about speed use your hands to help throw your, your momentum around to help you twist and keep going you want to try and get a fast move here, not necessarily a deep squat. So it's not a high jump, it's not a deep squat, it's about a combination, a nice balance of both. So working through the last five seconds, keep squatting and hopping, three, two, one, and done. Get down on the ground and take your plank position because you can use this as a rest. We've got five seconds before we go there in the high plank, and three, two, one, and go. And this is now you just planking it out for the next 30 seconds before we go and finish everything off with that soccer run. So breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and get a bit of zen here as you zone out and get ready for that final cardio burn. You've only got 40 seconds of work left. So 10 seconds worth of planking and 30 seconds worth of soccer run. So in five seconds, you are gonna get up two, one, and done here, so hop on up, and let's get ready to finish it off. Soccer run. So four, three, two, one, and get the soccer run going. This is about speed here, so get those knees up wide and get the feet up high. You are going to push hard here for the last 25 seconds, it's amazing. So keep working it, you've got 20 seconds to burn those knees and bring the feet up and nice and high, get your knees out wide and move the arms run 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 you want to push through if you can speed up here for the last 10 seconds just go just get into a soccer sprint you've got nothing else to do here five seconds four three two push hard one and done that's it day 23 is complete uh, it is amazing it feels good to be done it is breathing hard you should be breathing hard and you should be sweating because this is a full body high intensity workout. So take a break, get some water, get a stretch in. Tomorrow is the grand finale and I hope you're ready for it because it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Enjoy, Merry Christmas, smile and sweat.